Welcome back to the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't and thank you to my existing subscribers. If you are planning on using your MacBook Air M1 in a low light environment, make sure you do two things. Firstly, keyboard brightness so you can actually see the keys and you can adjust it here. Okay, and if I just hold it up and just adjust the brightness, you can't really see it that much on the camera, but I set it about a quarter of the way, which does the trick for me. And the other thing is key, your brightness. If you put your brightness more than half, you're putting a lot of pressure on your eyes because that, that light does put, your, put strain on your eyes. And it's just, it's not good, particularly if you're concentrating on it quite a bit. Now they do have a night light feature if I can get to it so night shift sorry um, which relaxes removes a bit of the blue light and it's quite easy on the eyes but I tend to turn this off because the color accuracy is just completely it's just all yellow so I tend to put the brightness down and that works for me and yes if you still need to work in a low lighting area you just turn on night shift mode again and it adds a yellow sort of tone to the screen removing that harmful blue light allowing you to work longer. And it is one of the best laptops I've used in a low lighting environment. I don't have to worry about switching on the light um, or moving someplace else. So let us know what you think. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time.